toy slash card hunt. I have been to one Walmart already, one that they keep the stuff behind the counter, so I'm not going to film that or anything. Uh, had a lot of stuff behind the counter and actually some in a cart beside the aisle. Uh, looks like they had just restocked or about was about to stock. Um, no AEW behind the counter or in the cart, so 0 for 1, but um, did find some Illusions uh, packs that uh, I'm kind of excited to rip. Uh, so much baseball, I've ripped so much baseball over the last year, so I just can't do it anymore, no interest in it. So, And I don't collect basketball or rip football, so I'm definitely not interested in any of that. Uh, there was some Mosaic uh, NBA hangers in the cart, but not interested in it and not really looking to break the bank on, you know, sport, like sticking ball sports uh, retail. So picked up this. We're at a uh, another Walmart now, so let's see what happens. Come on, AEW! As you can see, still nothing. This Walmart hasn't stocked cards in like nine or ten days now, so let's go strike out on some figures as well. Lunch break, toy hunt, day two. Not going to go to the other Walmart because they stocked yesterday. No AEW, so no point in going. And I'm on the other side of town at work. I did snag two Upper Deck AEW Blasters off their website when they went live earlier. They were $5 more than retail, and there was only a limit of two, so all I could get was two. But nonetheless, happy to have them on the way, and now I hope they don't take seven years to ship them just like tops does so we're gonna go in walmart and look for nothing so i didn't even i didn't even record going in the store because the shelves look the same as they had and you don't need to see nine videos of the shelves looking the same i went in there yesterday which was wednesday and i actually saw the uh mj holdings rep who i've ran into a few times know her by name we chat about tar hill basketball and all that and uh, she didn't give me any specifics on when she would be stocking over there. Um, she made me gave, she may have gave me a hint or two, but as it turns out, that hint was a little bit wrong. And she basically hinted at tomorrow, Friday being the stock day. Went in there today to look for figures, of course, and I was pleasantly surprised because look what we got right there. AEW blasters I think they had uh, six or seven I grabbed them all <laughs> first time I've ever cleared out the shelf uh, finally found them put my hands on them laid my eyes on them so uh, I'll probably rip uh, two tonight and hang on to a few and I'm still waiting on Target to restock because I plan on buying some then as well but we also grabbed a another nice pickup in top loaders 35 count 498 you can't beat it and uh, it seems top loaders are starting to surface more so that's a very good thing because you know people were going i was going months and months without finding them but we got aew blasters six or seven of them so that's a that's a good day that's what i wanted that's what i was looking for so Here's to hoping uh, getting some from Target tonight or tomorrow. So we'll see. Toy hunt Friday. Wasn't going to do any toy hunting today because as you've seen, I found seven AEW blasters. I ripped uh, three of those last night. Hit a Kenny Omega Auto and a Darby Allen Relic. So you can't get much better than that with AEW. But I got a tip. Uh, about a Target one town over decided to waste my lunch break and go look but the plot twist is wasn't a waste found four more four more so I get to uh, replenish what little bit I ripped uh, last night and also uh, let's see here while I was out one town over stopped by the house to get a uh, to grab the mail and had to get this out of the mailbox. Chris Statlander, upper deck base card, signed at a private signing with High Spots. 
that green on the blue background is absolutely sick this week's toy hunt was a massive uh, success and I don't think I'll get as lucky next week but we'll see